What's the best way to get a Minecraft world record? Well, I'll tell you. You just speedrun a category that no one's ever done before. This is half percent. We have to get half of all the advancements that are available in Minecraft. And no one's ever done it on a random seed using glitches. So that is what I intend to do. And already I've got seven advancements out of the 80 available. Let's grab these dandelions. And thanks to this dark oak forest, we can easily get mushrooms. And some brown mushrooms right here. And with that, I can craft suspicious stew. It would be nice to get some more iron, but since we're in a swamp, we might as well get diamonds. Oh my goodness, have I just dug down into a mine shaft? I've dug down to lava, which probably means that the diamonds that would have been down here are going to be overwritten by lava. But instead I can grab iron while I can. Oh my, okay, well, we, we got some diamonds. I was going to say it's worth getting out of this cave, but hey, that's good, good stuff. So another achievement to get diamonds. I think I want to get the cover me with diamonds one as well. So to do that, we just have to make some diamond boots. There we go. And I also forgot, I need to do a glitch so that this goes in the glitch category. I, I could do an x-ray glitch, but I, I mean, I can't really remember how I do them. I think you do it with a composter, but if I jump in lava... And then I go ahead and save and quit. Then as I rejoin the world, as you can see, I have an invulnerability. And that is technically classed as a glitch. So uh, this is now in the glitch category, guys. We're basically guaranteed the world record. Let's go ahead and create a chest plate. Might as well get the, the full thing. I'm also going to make myself some shears. And I think a shield will be useful as well. And I'm not quite ready for the nether, so we're going back to the surface. I'm not sure if this gets me an achievement. No, I think it needs to be a skeleton arrow. And thankfully for me, it is dark, so there are skeletons in the area. If I block his arrow, heh. <laughs> Not today, thank you, good sir. And I've got some arrows. If I go like that, we get take aim as well. And up here we have a ruined portal. And there's a village over there. I reckon I take these gold leggings just because they're going to be useful. And of course, the gold blocks as well. And if I go like this, there we go. A bit of tactical fishing. But thankfully, nobody's in this bed because I need to do sweet dreams. I'll be honest, guys. I'm pretty much just making all this up as I go along. If I was actually taking this seriously, I'd look at all the enchantments in advance. Look at this. More diamonds. I mean, I, I don't know. Do I need anything else in here? I guess I can take the iron. Now, I believe I can breed a couple of animals together. And that should get me another advantage. There we go, the parrots and the bats. And there's more wheat to steal over here. And if we place a composter, break this table, we now have a farmer that will trade us wheat. Which gets me my 18th achievement. I can't think of anything that I need to buy, so I'll just buy an iron axe. And I'll take out this guy to get some free iron. Let's shear this pumpkin and then pick it up. I can use that later to spawn an iron golem. Now, it would be very handy to find a pillager outpost. But to be honest, that's probably going to be very unlikely. Let's also grab a bed from this village. And steal more of their wheat. And at some point, I'm going to be brewing. So a brewing stand will be useful. More iron from this guy. And this blacksmith. I guess the bread is kind of useful. I was on the hunt for horses, llamas, or a donkey. So... We'll tame this guy. There we go. Best friends forever. And now that I have 19 advancements, I think it's best that I head to the nether. I think grabbing more iron will be useful. I really want to get that iron golem. And I think with this bit of iron, we have got more than enough. This is also my ticket to the nether. And whilst I'm here, I'm also going to get myself a diamond pickaxe. I think it's just going to be useful. Thankfully, this bit is pretty easy. So I can light that. I'm also going to get a bit of obsidian. A, it is an achievement. And B, it might be useful for like enchantment tables and stuff like that. There we go. Ice bucket challenge. That is achievement number 20. And lapis. I definitely need lapis. When I head to the stronghold, I can use that for enchanting. Also, I know they're called advancements. I don't know why I still call them achievements. So already, we get one very easy achievement of going to the nether. And I think, yeah, over there, there is a fortress. You can't really see it too well unless you look at the corner of the screen. But I think it would have been easy to make a snow golem for this achievement. I think it worked, but... There we go, we got hired help. What's going to craft a helmet so that nothing goes wrong? Let's head to that fortress. Although before that, let's just give you that so you've got the shiny achievement. And by shiny achievement, I mean shiny advancement. That's it. Get in, boys. Oh, look at that. They're all having a massive fight now. I don't think I started this, but I'm just going to walk away. This is also really good because there's a basalt delta over there and a warp forest over there. So I'm going to quickly go into this basalt delta. I feel like maybe going up that platform is easiest. I'm doing the micro lensing. I should have probably done it when I first got snether. It's probably going to be a bit broken now. Although I'm kind of confident there's a bastion in that direction. If we can land this, we can get returned to sender. And I believe going this far, yep, we went to a basalt deltas. Now we've also gone to a warp forest. Or diamonds, perfect. And a saddle. I can actually get another achievement with that. I think I grabbed the nether wart now, but I can't brew until I get water. And here is my first blaze. It would be amazing to get a wither skull, but I <laughs> I don't think it'll be likely. Let's just focus on taking out these blaze. For the sake of inventory space, I'm now just going to live off bread. Since I can also craft a load more. I think I now have enough blaze rods. I can probably get out of it. Try one more time. Nope, we just still didn't get a wither skull. Oh, look at that. I'm nearly going to die. We'll just save and quit. And when I rejoin, I've got a bit of invulnerability. There we go. <laughs> I love glitched mode. I wouldn't normally do that, but it's literally a requirement for me to get the world record. Now then, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a bastion in this direction, but it won't be in this basalt delta. Look at that. Look at that. Micro lensing. It's amazing. Now, this is the treasure bastion. But I think it's best that I avoid that part of it. So my first plan is to anger a few piglins, and then if I give them gold, I'll get the old shine thing. Although I don't know what... What's going on? Oh, no, I'm, I'm wearing more gold than I realized. There we go. Get angry, guys. And then take the gold, get distracted, 
Good stuff. And then we'll put the armor back on. Although mining their precious gold will actually make them angry. And that's just a case of doing some simple bastion routing. I don't use the fastest method that's out there. That's just because I haven't learned the new one. So whilst it is a bit outdated, I can still do it super fast. I think it's time I got rid of a load of this junk. And then we can grab all of this good stuff. I think with this glowstone and the crying obsidian, we can get ourselves a respawn anchor. And then if we use four glowstone on that, there we go. Another advancement. I get another advancement by stealing their loot. And on top of that, I can actually use this crossbow to shoot it. There we go. That's another one. I feel like I'm about to start a war with this guy. Yeah, look, I'll just... just Okay, well, that was a one-tap. Hopefully, they don't all get too mad at me that I just took out one of their own. And that gives a total of 32 advancements. We need 40 altogether. I've also just realized that I only have nine obsidian in my inventory, so I'm going to try and get some more. Two pieces of gold. Come on, guys. Don't let me down. And with that, they, they let me down, which means we're going into that place. Thankfully, I do have fire resistance, so it shouldn't be too bad. I wonder if I jumped like this and then pause right here, save and quit. Now, when I rejoin, there we go. I mean, if I had landed on summit, I wouldn't have taken fall damage. Let's just get mined all this. They're going to get very angry at me, but we're just going to have to take it. There's one guy. Okay, we've got to make sure we don't die, but if, if we get close to death, I mean, we can literally just go in the lava and be safe. And we've got diamond boots with curse of binding. I mean, to be honest, I've already got diamond boots and only crown obsidian, which is quite annoying. All right, guys, you'll be glad to know I have brought you way, way more gold. I got loads of obsidian from that, so I might as well just get out of it. Might as well grab a warp fun guy just in case I come across a strider. I see striders, but they're like all the way over there. I was about to craft a fishing rod, but uh, <laughs> I don't have enough sticks. Although I have just had an ingenious idea. We can grab whatever is in this chest with more obsidian. That's good. Golden apple, I don't really need that. We can then complete this portal, make our way back to the other world, and I believe get subspace bubble. Okay, we didn't get that because apparently we didn't travel far enough. And we're miles below. <laughs> you know, everything about this plan went wrong. So I'm just going to forget that I ever attempted it and go to the warp forest. And since we have ender pearls, we might as well use them. So let's chop down this tree. Use the sticks to make a fishing rod turn it to a wart fungus on a stick now let's grab some fire resistance and ride a strider here we go little fella let's just put a saddle on you let's jump on top right click haha <laughs> This boat has legs. And that gives me 33 advancements. And it's going to make it a lot easier for me to find a soul sand valley. Look at this. I'm just gliding through the basalt delta. Although this part is slightly painful. There we go. We're all right. My strider can't fit through down here. So I'm going solo. Hello, little fella. We might be on world record pace, but we can say hi to you. I'm also less worried now because I see a soul sand valley up ahead. Although I do have to be careful because if I fall in lava, I, I will probably die. But that's not going to stop me speed bridging with hay bales of all things. I guess I can make that jump. Yeah, no problem. This is probably my favorite achievement. Hot tourist destination. Since I only need six more achievements, I'm probably not going to bother with subspace bubble because to get it, I'd still have to travel quite a long way. So let's get back to the overworld and head to the end. But thankfully, we weren't that far underground. I've found the surface. Now let's craft a load of eye of enders and which way are we going? It looks like this way. We are about 8,000 blocks from spawn, so it could be a long way. It could be quite close. In fact, whilst I've got a bit of spare time, I could do the brewery achievement, which means getting more cobblestone for a furnace, melting some sand, and then brewing a random potion. And once I take that out, there we go. That's pretty much all the achievements I need. I can get all of the rest in the end in the stronghold. So let's just go ahead and find it. I have found a village on the way back, so it's probably worth grabbing a few beds. I've just realized I can craft quite a lot of wool, which is going to come in handy. But I also need some wood to go with that. Also, if you're wondering, we currently have 35 out of the 40 advancements we need so far. We'll get one for going to the stronghold, one for going to the end, one for defeating the ender dragon, one for getting dragon's breath, and one for going through the end gateway. So in the end, I don't really need to bother about doing enchanting. Sad to say this, but I think according to my calculations, it's going to be somewhere on, yeah, somewhere on a mountain. If I'm not mistaken, it's somewhere around around here. I, I don't really want to use any more Eyes of Ender because if one more breaks, then I'm going to be in trouble. Looks like attempt number one was unsuccessful. I'm just going to have to risk it and throw another one. Okay, so I, I guess that was just a little bit too much to the side. Pretty sure that right here is a perfect spot. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I thought it was time to get a little rusty. Now, I don't have to worry about much else other than finding the portal room. How cool is this? We've, we've got time to, to stop and admire it. Anything anything to make... Excuse me, I'm spider. I'm trying to admire a, a pretty impressive thing here, you know? I'm taking this music disc just for the principle. And I found the portal room. You see, good things happen when you take your time on the music discs. See, this is a no... If one of those eyes are broken, I would have been in trouble because I did lose some blaze powder before. But we are going to be all right. We can go to the end. Let's do that. We've got an advancement. I didn't actually realize this, but going to the end counts as two advancements. Hope the Ender Dragon doesn't mind. I just need to get some obsidian. And I can go ahead and place that there. Perfect. Also, whilst we're here, if we drink this awkward potion, which does nothing, we can do that. There we go. We got Dragon's Breath. Let's craft a load more beds. That looks pretty good to me. Don't really have enough blocks to build up as high as I'm supposed to. Hey, if I want to, I can get rid of a few of the towers to increase the perks chance. Okay, yeah, see, if the dragon does that, though... It just, yeah, it, we're all right. We just have to build up one block, which is why I'm saving a few blocks. Okay, it's perching. <laughs> it's make or break time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try and not, uh, not screw this up. All righty, number one. I was, I tell you what, these are going all right. These are, this is perfect. I guarantee you, 
easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, it, we're not out of the woods just yet because I have realized that I need to make myself some pressure plates. So let's do that. Let's right click the egg. The egg has just landed there. That is the worst place you could have landed egg. I'm pretty sure I haven't done all the advancements. But once we mine that, grab it. That is time. If we do slash seed, that gives the seed, which is, is something you just have to do. We did it in one hour, 28 minutes and 46 minutes seconds which would have put me fourth on the glitchless leaderboards but uh, for glitched it's the world record i think if i actually prepared and got a better seed i could probably go for the glitchless one if you'd like to see that leave a like and a comment saying so and thanks so much for watching one, one more okay he's now gone through we're going to go and join him okay i'm going to grab a bit of this uh, this stuff though. i'm going to need it because now we need to get him through the actual end pole. it's a nightmare i can get through here with my electra i think do i have my electron okay i, I feel like my electra haven't haven't properly worked yet no i need, I need to reset my game there we go. Okay, we're through. Okay, this guy's through as well. We're going to transport him over here. So here's the plan. We're going to put him on there. We're then going to flick this a bunch of times and keep sending him on up. Okay, I sent him maybe a little bit too high. He actually helped me getting up there. <laughs> hey, you know what though? Better safe than sorry. So yeah, we're just going to get him up a little bit more. Once he's through the portal, it, it's all smooth sailing after that. So if I now break him out of his boat, he's kind of he's kind of glitched, so I have to leave and rejoin. But now you see, he's just nicely sat here for me. We just basically push him along. Okay, the next time he goes to attack me... He's gone. I forgot to put a boat through that. Hopefully, hopefully he goes in the boat. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't matter if you put the boat in second. I, I actually don't know about that one. That, that could be a problem. Okay, anyway. My iron is still not done smart. That's what happens when you don't put it in two furnaces, guys. But that's it's not too big of a problem. We can just go like that. Okay, I think I've got everything I need. And it's now time to head through. It's actually a bit of a, uh, a moment, a truth moment here. If, if this has gone wrong, we're in trouble. Okay, I don't know. I don't know where the shulk has gone, honestly. Um, he should have gone in my boat. But because I didn't put the boat in first, he's he's gone somewhere else. Okay, I thought I'd killed this run. Thankfully, he goes to the origin. He goes to zero zero. If he if he would have just been in my boat at spawn, um, but because I'm an idiot and forgot to do it, uh, he's gone to the origin. But thank goodness that we found him. Otherwise, we could have been in a lot of trouble there. Okay, I, I thought I was I did think I was about to reset the run. Honestly, um, so we're, it's no problem. All right, we'll just stick him in a boat. Okay, which I'm sure we can. We can pull off if we just, we're very careful, you know, go something like this. There we go. Can we get in the boat? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll do that in a moment. I just can't catch a break. Now this guy's decided that he's going to get him in boat. Excuse me. <laughs> right. Let's get on the water. Let's get going. Okay. To the next destination. I don't know. One of the other things we need to get is a rabbit's foot. Now I have carrots. I've got a looting sword. D don't ask how I'm going to get this. I'm not telling you. Okay, we've successfully done that. Has my iron finished smelting? Okay, it looks like it just about has. Perfect. Whilst I'm drifting along, I might as well give you a bit of explanation. This, the reason we've got to travel so far this way is because we need to go through a portal that is right by the fortress. Now, on this seed, the, the nether fortress, you have to go quite far away for the portals to line up. But we need a nether fortress near uh, the portal because we need to bring a wither skeleton back, back to the overworld. We need the looting sword because we need wither skulls to get a wither, to get a nether star, to get a beacon. And we have to bring the shulker over here because... We need the shulker and the wither skeleton together. So this is the best way to do it. It kind of sucks to do the wither skeleton bit at the end because that's like the most look-based thing. But just over there in the distance, we're going to be digging down to some lava, putting the shulker down there and, and setting up base. So we're going to dig a hole down here. And then this extremely annoying guy is going down it, okay? And I am very glad to say goodbye to you. That's it. Go away, okay? We're going we're gonna to block this up. No more water can get down. He's going to float down there. I'm done with him. <laughs> Man, he's an absolute nightmare. Okay, next we get the most... Uh, we're just going to put this here so he doesn't shoot me. Next we get the most exciting part. Yep, that is... Uh, <laughs> fishing. Okay, we've got one puff of fish. We just need a second one. Okay, we've got another puff of fish. Perfect. Let's uh, pick up that. We're now... I actually... <laughs> it kind of sounds a bit crazy, but I've, I've run out of wood, so... Um, that is the next thing I'm going for. Thankfully, traveling around with these Elytra is super fast. Now we need to quickly build ourselves a nether portal. To the nether we go. So you'll be able to see that my portal has spawned right next to the fortress. Um, the reason being that I'm building across is because I will need to get some wither skeletons. Uh, a wither skeleton across there. Uh, I also realized I have knockback and sharpness on this looting three sword. So it's going to be super useful. Um, there we go. Okay, I guess it doesn't one hit them, but it's, it's going to hurt them a bit. And, it, and the knockback is pretty useful. As you can see, we can... We can fly. I mean, this is going to be great, okay? The thing is we need to do now, though, is get three Wither Skulls, which, you know, could happen super fast or could take me a while. we just got to see what happens, basically, with that. So, fortunately, we're having to two-hit these. If we had Smite 4, we'd be able to one-tap them. It would be way easier, but we haven't got that. So, um, we're going to have to live with what we got. And here we have my first Wither Skeleton. Let's see what he's got to offer. 
He actually dropped a skull. What the heck? I have had such good RNG. This. Um, I don't think I need. Uh, I don't need. <laughs> I don't need a wither skull. Okay. Right. I need to get brewing so I can get some inventory space. What is the chance of that? Okay. This. Uh, this is turning into like the best run I've had. I've not even got a better run than this in practice. We're also going to have some potions brewing while we're killing skeletons. On this side, there's another fortress just over here. So this is another good place to look for wither skeletons. And brown mushrooms. We actually need brown mushrooms. They're, they're kind of random where they spawn. On this version, it's not seed based, so we, we had to find them, which was handy. Mission to find more wither skeletons means. Okay, don't go after him. That blade, just because that blade's angered you, I know he's upset you a bit. Okay, oh, wait, I think the skeleton hit him, actually. <laughs> he's angry at everyone, is that, uh, that wither skeleton? Look at him, he's going for it. Don't don't bother, mate. Just, just let me take you out. Okay, we didn't, still didn't get one. Okay, I pretty much brewed all the potions, just need to turn a couple into splash ones. There okay, we go, wither skeletons either side. Let's get rid of one. Let's get rid of two. Okay, let's knock back sword. He's actually the best thing ever. Let's see what he's got for me. Okay, still nothing. Uh, the thing is, you've got to kill a lot, and the fact that we've already got one is is kind of huge on its on its own already. At long last, I've got the second one. Okay, one to go. Okay, things got hairy there. I was on half a heart. You know what? I'm, I don't care. I'm eating a gapple. Flipping egg. I don't need to put that kind of pressure up and really throw away a run right at the death. Okay, we finally got the last one. That has taken way too long. Okay, um, I don't even know if I can even beat the world record now. It's, it's taking me that long. Normally, it would be so much faster for me. Right, I don't even know if I have enough firework rockets, but we need to head, I think. Oh no, I'm lost now. This is what happens when I don't, uh, I don't pay attention. Um, yeah, I need to head somewhere up here, I think. Yeah, this is right. Okay, so we're now going to uh, defeat the wither, but we're going to do it like in such a way that we don't really have to worry about getting damaged. So we're now at bedrock. If we then go and dig just over here, we're at this kind of flat bit of bedrock. If we then go and spawn the wither on this, it's then going to be kind of stuck in the bedrock when it's summoned. You can probably hear that. It's already taking damage. And if I now go and shoot it loads, look at that. Look at the damage it's taking. This, guys, is how you easily defeat the wither. And after a certain point, you have to hit it with your sword as arrows don't work. And there we have it. We've got ourselves... The nether star. So we're now going to head back through the portal. Quickly craft the beacon. We then need to activate the beacon. Give ourselves haste. And then begins the final part of the run. We need to get minor fatigue. Okay, that was really quick. That was good. And now that we've got this, we need to act fast and get a wither skeleton into the overworld. Okay, thank goodness. Things are looking in my favor. There's loads of wither skeletons waiting right here. Yes, there's a skeleton. We can probably just, you know, we don't even have to worry about him, I don't think. In fact, let's, let's just knock him off. There we go. See you later, mate. All right. This guy knows what's up. Just one of you, please. I don't need you both. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's quite the traverser, isn't he? Okay, he's, he's well on his way. He knows what needs to be done. We're then going to get him to go through the portal like that. Okay, he's gone through. Now, I need to be hungry before I do this. If I if I forget to be hungry, it will not work because you can't eat a puff of fish. So, you know what? Wither me now, mate. There we go. He's, he's giving me a bit of a wither effect. I forgot glowstone. Are you kidding me? I actually forgot something. I forgot glowstone. Okay, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away, please. <laughs> He's going to come back through, isn't he? I might have just I might have just screwed up the entire run. I forgot glowstone. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, okay. It's not, it's not panic in this situation. Okay, there's, there's literally some glowstone just up here. We're going to have to act extra fast now. Of course, this is the pressure I definitely did not need. Hopefully, my wither skeleton does not despawn or anything on me. Uh, we're definitely hungry, but now we're, we're too hungry because we have no health. Oh my goodness, SP. You've got it. You've got to be cutting these things fine, haven't you? Okay, like we've got until the minor fatigue runs out. So there's no need to panic at this point, but if we do anything stupid, then we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> right, we need, uh, yeah, we need spectrum. No, I've got minor fatigue. Wait, come on. Please, please can this, um, this pickaxe get through? Okay, I've just, I've just realized what a stupid mistake I've made. Kind of good news. I lost my minor fatigue. I'm just going to have to go back and get it again, which... Isn't, isn't too much of a problem. I've got to get the wither skeleton. I've got to do everything again. And I've got very little time for sure to do it. But we can still get the world record. I don't know if my wither skeleton's even going to still be here. Oh, he is. Okay. Oh, and he's going to kill me, isn't he? At this point. <laughs> Please don't kill me, sir. All right. He can't get me here, right? Yeah, we're safe. Okay. Um. Yeah, I completely just did the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life for getting close. Like, that's cost me so much time. But, um... Oh, well, at least the, the panic's off for a moment. So we're going to chuck those in there. Right. We've definitely got everything we need now. We just need to, once again... You just go away, sir. We just need to, once again, get the minor fatigue. You never know. That guy might not despawn. I mean, I'm 99% sure he's going to despawn when I fly away. So we've probably got to do all this again. Okay, we've got minor fatigue again. All right. And now, you know what? I'm just going to boat because I'm stuck in the water. <laughs> what is going on? Leave me alone, guardians, please. All right. You know, I've run out of firework rockets near enough anyway. Okay, so this time, I promise you, everything is going to work. I just need to make sure I'm hungry. But I need enough health enough health to take damage from a shulker and a wither skeleton. So I'm going to eat a little bit more. I think 
I could probably take one more carrot and still be hungry, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with that, probably. When I was practicing this, I actually had a run that would have been 1 hour and 20, but I choked it at the end with the uh, with doing what we're about to do now. This run is unfortunately nowhere near as good as that, but it's still world record pace, which just shows like how, how much improvement that, that can be made on this uh, on this world record. So we're going to go ahead and get everything ready. Alrighty, so what we'll need to do is splash us- Oh wait, I forgot I need to get this back. Oh no, okay, I didn't actually- <laughs> I forgot about the most important thing, and that is uh, bringing back the Wither Skeleton. Okay. I've just assumed he'd still be here. Or is there going to be one at the top waiting for me? That is the uh, that is the big question. Okay, very thankfully, the answer is yes. We can do this now. I don't know what I just did there, but for some reason, all the pigment are now angry at me. I don't know. What is going wrong today? Okay, here we go. We're going to splash all the potions. We're then going to get levitation from this shulker. Like, okay. Shield, get out of here. I don't need that right now. <laughs> come on, Shulker. Give me levitation. Perfect. We'll shut those doors. Get that from... Get the, the... Come on. Hit me. Thank you. Okay. And we then need to do that. Okay. We've got Spectral. Did we do it? We did it. Yes. And I think we might have just got world record. We did indeed get the world record by 20 seconds. This was nowhere near as good as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to improve it this week on some speedruns on Twitch. So make sure to follow me on there. Link is in the description. Hey guys, this is SB737. I'm welcome back today to another video. And today I'm posting a speedrun on my channel. And it is of the game Hello Neighbor, uh, which is of the Alpha 2 version, okay? And uh, yes, this is, as far as I know, this is the fastest speedrun that exists. I think it's a world record. And it's in 1 minute and 4 seconds. So I've seen one's faster of the Alpha 1 version, but that's completely different. Different house, everything. So, yeah, and so uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new around here because I do make daily videos on my channel. And uh, let me know to, let me know in the comments if you if there is a faster one out there or somebody beats it in the future, and then uh, I'd, I'd love to, uh, to see that. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, we'll get into the run. Okay, so straight away in this run, you want to grab this tire and then go into his kitchen through the window. And then you want to grab the lockpick out of the drawer and you want him to catch you. Now, ideally, he catches you straight away, but I had to go and find him in this run. Uh, so he found me, catches me, throws you out. And then what you do is you go around the side and uh, you go into the bedroom to get the key card. So yeah, you just flick this little thing here and uh, move it so that that thing, that uh, leave, uh, platform comes back down. Then jump on the boxes and then, uh, yeah, and then you flick it back up, jump on there. Uh, and then you throw your lockpick through the window and thankfully it went through the window this time for me sometimes it bounces back and uh, it's really annoying to pick up but it's, it's much easier if it goes in the window uh, so then you go right and you go into where he keeps the crowbar uh, so you're going to jump into there and uh, pick that lock uh, not the one with the gun in so there you go in there grab the crowbar and then uh, I was really lucky this time look just he's going just out the door so then I had chance to go and uh, yeah open up uh, this door put my key card in uh, quickly and then open the door with E but he just saw me I thought he was going to get me but I just got through okay so then you just run down these stairs and you know you've not got to worry about him anymore you've completed the game so you just yeah run straight down here and the game finishes right there in 1 minute 4 and 15 milliseconds so yeah pretty pleased with, uh, with how that went and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching and uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one Thank you.